All right, Larry, thank you very much. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League presented by EA Sports. The City of Angels showing it can be loud and raucous. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad emerged from the tunnel. They're ready for football and ready to watch their Rams do battle with the Washington Redskins. Cousins now to throw on first down. And the connection made to Terrell Pryor. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I know college coaches always recruit quarterbacks because they're so versatile. I'd say Terrell Pryor fits that bill. A 1,000 pass yards at one point in the NFL. And then turned around and became a 1,000-yard receiver. Second player in NFL history to do that. How about that? Yeah, Marlon the Magician Briscoe was the first. Cousins. And he's got his target. It's Vernon Davis. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. This is the first carry for Rob Kelly. That good for 22 and a first down. Rob Kelly was the number three rookie runner in the NFL in 2016 behind Ezekiel Elliott and Jordan Howard. What a nice start for him. Seemingly out of nowhere because he was undrafted and I think ready to put his imprint on this Redskin franchise. One reason, he can do everything. Run it with power inside, catch the ball out of the backfield, and also pass protects really well for his quarterbacks. They'll keep it in the hands of Kelly. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Throwing Cousins. Now bottled up, fumble, it's out, it's loose. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Another carry now for Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. He lost four there, and it's third down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Third and long. It's gone. And that is incomplete. Trust me, Brandon, I'm not about to try and take your job. I can't do what you do. But that wasn't just three and out. That felt like three and backwards. Well, that's exactly what it was. Uh, you can have my job whenever <laughs> you want it. Uh, the drive that you're looking for, though, probably going forward, bad start to the ball game. Yeah, not the way to get things going. 
On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. <laughs> A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Redskins will take possession with a first and ten. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. Yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, You've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. They'll go again with Kelly. Kelly stripped. The ball is free. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. <laughs> on third down, Cousins. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way on to punt. Deep for the Rams, Tavon Austin. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there. And it's second down. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. To throw is gone. And his throw is incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target, had its third down. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. Gone. And now another one thrown incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. Got to stay with it. That's true. Here's Johnny Hacker now, standing right on his own five yard line. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Crowder now to return. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, OK, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. 
A first down throw for Cousins. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Ten yards still left on second down. On the run, it's Kelly. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Cousins from the gun on third and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. What a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And they'll get him down up past the 15. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Last year, Gurley, 74% of LA's carries. That's the highest percentage in the league. But no real payoff because they finished 31st in the league in rushing. I think as a team, they ran for 78 yards per game. They had a 1,000-yard receiver and Kenny Britt out wide, but they really didn't scare people downfield. And because of that... They stacked the line of scrimmage and stuffed the run game. Goff now to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, it. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game. And now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. To throw on second down is gone. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. Now it's gone. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. The Rams dead last in the NFL last year on third down conversions, just 32%, but they come through there. They've got a much better chance of that number rising this year for a variety of factors. Of course, they're going to get their quarterback, Jared Goff, going. But the big part is 
Last season, they were really a one-trick pony on offense. Now they'll be much more varied under new head coach Sean McVay. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down, here's Goff. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now a draw as Goff gives to Gurley. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Partner, that's another short run there, and I think the easy thing is to look at him right now and say, let's get away from him entirely to start throwing the football, but I don't think you ever entirely abandon the run. It helps set a tone for the game for you, keeps your offensive linemen feeling good about themselves, and it actually tamps down a defense's pressure because if you just throw it all the time, it's going to tee off with the pass rush. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Throw right side caught by Davis. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Cousins on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. A second down throw for Cousins. And this one is incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. Third down here. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Again, it's Cousins. And that's incomplete. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, Three punts isn't a bad thing, but when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. A gain of three, second down. 
Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here's Goff now on second down. Now they go screen. It's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. On first down, it's Gurley. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll take us to the end of the first quarter. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Throwing on third, gone. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? Not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll give it here to Brown. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Rams are in for six. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pads? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Kick this one away. 
fielded about a yard deep. It'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And the drive starts with Rob Kelly. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Throwing his cousins. Setting up the screen to Kelly. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Are you crediting your defense? Got to credit him on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Aaron Donald with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now Austin. <laughs> he did it again. Wrap up. Still moving. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. one to Gurley and he'll get this up only to about the 33 two yards on the carry there it'll be second down Second down, this is Gurley. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. The Rams on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. 
And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Redskins offense now, they head back onto the field. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. On first and ten, Cousins throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved. But when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. Cousins now on second down. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Mark Barron coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not no. He came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. They run with it. It's Kelly. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line, and a penalty flag may add insult to injury. Shotgun. It's Cousins. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. And right now, a stoppage because Rob Kelly is still down. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got some space here. And he'll power his way up near the 25. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. From the gun, here's Cousins. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Robert Quinn. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Tressway now. He's been terrific so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Here's Austin. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front, 
you know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. takes it across the 40-yard line. And a big face mask penalty here, 15 yards. You never want to get your hands up in the face mask area because your fingers can get tangled up there, and that can hurt you as a player. Down, it's gone. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. down. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. to throw. Gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Tavon Austin from four yards out. And the Rams add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half.
Second down, Cousins. Wide open receiver complete. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. The Redskins on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. To throw is Cousins. It's brought in by Dodson. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Cousins now to throw on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. The Redskins on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. To the air again, it's Cousins. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. See if they stay on the ground for second down. A shotgun snap for Goff. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Give him six on the play, and that'll make it third and one. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Sua Cravens in there to bury him for a loss of 11. 
These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. To throw on second down is gone. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. From the gun on third down, gone. Open man right side is cup complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They get only four that time as that's to a fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Again, a run with Thompson. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started to throw Cousins he's gonna air one out they've got his man complete 30 10 touchdown Washington Jamison Crowder 83 yards and the Redskins have made this a one score game that's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game and you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the Rams getting set to go now. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, a one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Golf on first down. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. They'll run. This is Brown. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, gone. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Ten-yard penalty there on first down, so now first and 20. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Did you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up and run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. Now Gurley. And he's got Rome. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Call it an even 20 yards on the pickup. And that is going to set up a third and one. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And this is going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. So on fourth down, Goff will yield to Greg Zerline for the field goal try. This from 54 yards away. this has the carry it does not it's no good and this score will stay right where it is everything looked good good snap good hold sometimes though the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it and this one winds up no good 
So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense sat up nicely at the 44-yard line. On the ground, it's Thompson. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Pryor has it complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So the penalty by the offense, and now they face a first and 15. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Second down following the run. They'll run with Thompson. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. The Redskins on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be third and five. They go play action. Cousins. Now this is brought in by Pryor. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Second and goal. There's still a decent chunk of yardage here. They're on the eight. And, oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back right at the 10-yard line. At one point, the L.A. Rams defensive front four was made up of four first-round draft picks with maybe the best of them all at that time, and still is. Aaron Donald, yeah, he's a force. Former Pitt Panther, and we were praising him a lot last year during our weekly commentary updates, weren't we? Yeah, strength, quickness, mobility, he has it all. Fourth in the Defensive Player of the Year voting in 2016. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Oh, 
Now Cousins. And that is incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So an interesting call there to take the three. I guess they're thinking their hands were tied, but in the fourth quarter, that field goal, it really might not help. Another field goal does you no good, so it'll be interesting to see what the media reaction is if the score stays where it is. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. <laughs> and a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. Sideline, they're thinking of themselves, okay. Do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, <laughs> and, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Robert Woods, 63 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. Zerline now for the PAT. It's good, and it's 21-10. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Now it's Chris Thompson on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense who happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Cousins on first down. This one caught by Crowder. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Cousins now on second down. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. When I evaluated Jamison Crowder coming out of Duke, 
I thought he was already a pro in how he approached the game and ran routes, and I think his head coach, Jay Gruden, agrees. Yeah, he has said repeatedly, we want to keep him on the field as much as possible. He had 847 yards, seven touchdowns a season ago. Here's Cousins. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Michael Brockers with a great push up front. He picks up the sack at a loss of eight. the gun. Here's Cousins. And a hook up over the middle to Pryor. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Okay, educate me, because we just saw Terrell Pryor come down with a nice catch there with his new team in Washington, of course, in 2017, coming over from Cleveland. But Terrell Pryor, a 1,000-yard receiver in 2016 himself, Washington lost 2,000-yard receivers, too. How about that? The first team in NFL history to lose 2,000-yard receivers in one offseason. Deshaun Jackson, Pierre Garçon, now gone. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Single, single, single 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 From the shotgun, it's Cousins. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Someone moved, flag is out, that's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. He rifles it. Snags it for the pick. The 30. Past the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, LA. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception returned for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position not try to take. Looking for his tight end read, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Alec Ogletree. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, 
this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. That throw has to be a quarterback's dream, doesn't it? Big tight end, curling in the middle of the field, so it's great sight lines for him. And when they show their numbers back to the quarterback, when they sit down right there, that should be pitch and catch. On second down, here's Goff. And this is caught at the end. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding a big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out now come the Redskins. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I will see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now to the left here to Reed. Jordan Reed, 20. And he'll get it down deep into Los Angeles territory. Big yardage that time for the Redskins. 63 yards. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. All right, so first down, five yards to go. Kellis on the counter. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. They come out here in the eye. And they'll try again down here with Kelly. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists. And if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. 
I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Cousins, and this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Vernon Davis from four yards out, and the Redskins are able to close the gap just a bit. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. And it's up and good. Hopkins now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. There's somebody to return that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Austin's got it left side. Go off to Austin that time for an L.A. first down. So the offense has it first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Here's Gurley. Muscles him off. He won't go down. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flash back to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gala drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. The Rams on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Hey. 
They'll try the air now with Goff. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. So the chain gang now done for the drive ball on the 10. First and goal. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. Second down, goal to go from the six. Gurley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that up third and goal. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because... Both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams are victorious here as we say so long from Exposition Park.